Hello again, folks. Matt with Eddie's Guitar is coming to you, as always, from St. Louis, Missouri. And I am really thrilled about the guitar I have to share with you folks today. This is truly an incredible instrument. This is the Bourgeois D45, um, a very highly dressed guitar with a uh, very ornate and delicate inlay, quite honestly, all over it, um, but very tastefully done. Um, Wonderful tone woods picked for this guitar. Uh, more importantly, it was voiced by a master, and this is perhaps, I think, his masterpiece, uh, as far as I'm concerned, at least. Um, you can see that the top that uh, they started with here is a beautiful age tone or torrified Adirondack spruce top. Beautifully tight grain, very consistent across the whole soundboard. And of course, it's got that nice golden color from the uh, torrefaction process. The body, the neck, and the headstock are all bound in grained ivroid. And of course, in 45 style fashion, there's abalone inlay lining almost every edge of this body, including the uh, top border, fingerboard extension uh, around the sound hole on the rosette here, the sides of the guitar, as well as the uh, lining of the back, all inlaid in abalone, perfectly done. Just re really remarkable to uh, see the, the craftsmanship in this. All the way up on the headstock, you can see the uh, beautiful vine inlay with the uh, Brazilian rosewood veneer behind it and the Mother of Pearl Bourgeois logo all the way up top there. Those are gold Waverly tuning machines with fully engraved buttons, just icing on the cake. Perfect touch on, uh, on such a fancy guitar like this. Back and sides of this guitar are a gorgeous set of master grade Brazilian rosewood. Really nice. Uh, grain pattern to this, some dramatic kind of color shifts in there, and a beautiful abalone back strip, and again, of course, the, uh, the fully bordered abalone back there as well in 45 style fashion. This is a one and three quarter nut with two and five sixteenths bridge spacing, so a little bit wider compared to uh, a lot of other bourgeois dreads. It does have the H-tone torrified Adirondack bracing, full hide glue construction. The, uh, the maple bridge plate is also torrified as well, which is a nice touch. Uh, it also has the full H-tone finish, so it's a very thin, uh, very stiff finish that's extremely resonant. And um, over the last uh, week or so, I've had an opportunity to come in sort of after hours a, a number of times to play this guitar, quite honestly, simply for the joy of the, the sound and, and the pleasure of playing it. But um, in that time, I recorded a few uh, recordings with it that we will take a listen to now.
Hopefully you can hear why I feel this is such a special instrument. And I can tell you, I'm certainly not the only uh, person who's played this that feels that way. In fact, when the guitar was completed and was still uh, up in Maine at, at Bourgeois in the shop there, um, I heard from a number of folks that work there that heard the guitar and went out of their way to comment on how impressed they were with it. In fact, Dana himself, um, I think, was almost beside himself with how great this thing sounded, you know, right out of the gate. And this thing's an infant, you know. Um, in fact, he, he jotted down a few words here that I'd love to share with you folks um, specifically about this guitar. He says... For 40 plus years, I've pursued the magical vintage sound that originally inspired me to build guitars. Though I'll probably never allow myself to dance in the end zone, I like to think that with each passing year, I get a little closer to a truly unreachable goal. Style 45 guitars allow no excuses. I get to pull out all the stops, use woods that have been set aside for years, and spend as much time fussing over details as I please. This one exceeds my current expectations. If I never build a, a better guitar, I'll feel fortunate that my name is on the headstock of number 8271. Big words uh, from uh, such a skilled uh, luthier that's been doing it a long time. Uh, I, was, I was really excited after I heard his reaction about this before I ever even heard it. And of course, when I got it in here, um, all of their accolades of this guitar didn't prepare me for um, how wonderful I think it sounds. Um, in fact, like I said, Dana's obviously very impressed with it. When it was finished, they said, it's done, it's yours, we can ship it to your store, but IBMA is coming up shortly here, and Dana would really love to show this guitar to Brian Sutton at IBMA. I said, absolutely, take it. I'd, I'd love to know Brian's impressions of it myself. And um, we were lucky enough to have them capture some video of Brian playing this guitar. Um, he's playing with a young man by the name of Luke Lovejoy, who has um, sort of taken the bluegrass community by a little bit of a storm. Um, young man, I believe he's 16 years old, um, wonderfully talented flat picker that, that Brian's playing with here in this video. And um, he recently won the 2018 Winfield Flat Picking Championship, and um, he got prized a guitar, and right after that happened, he went over to the Bourgeois booth and bought another guitar, the one you see him playing in this video, just as sort of a cool side story, but uh, wonderfully gifted young man, and uh, looking forward to seeing what comes of him, but... Enjoy Brian Sutton and Luke Lovejoy here playing a couple beautiful bourgeois guitars. This one. 